everyone. Today is August five. We are going to be reading Dot Rules. Anna was exhausted. Ever since she had taken over as queen, she had not had a moment's peace. There were so many decisions to make and disagreements to settle. Princess Dot didn't like her big sister being so tired and cranky all the time. Why don't you just take a day off? Dot asked. But who will run the colony? And said Ibbly. I will. I'm princess, you know. Dot said. The next day, Dot began her rig. The first problem arose when their mother's pet, Ambry, ate some leaves that were going to be used to build a rain shelter. You need a timeout, scolded Dot. She put Ambry in a pen for ten minutes. When he came back out, he was a model Ambry. Later, she found Kermis and Thorny discussing over the best way to transport seeds. I want you to cooperate and come up with a solution, Dot said. A short time later, Thorny and Conscious reached a conference. It turned out they were both right. Flick was the next, and to receive Dot's help, I can't seem to get this new ant mover to work. He complained. How long have you been working on? Dots asked, flicks up for a moment. Since I woke up, he answered. I worked right through breakfast and lunch. Flick, Dot said, you can't think properly if your body doesn't have fuel. You need to stop and eat something. And why don't you take a nap while you're at it? Dot had lots of advice to share with her subjects that day. She reminded Mr. Soil's converse class that everyone should have a turn to speak. She insisted that the ant boys pick up their toys off, up off the ground. She firmly told her mother that there is no whining allowed, even if she was upset about and beginning to. By the end of the day, both Anna and her mother had to admit the colony had run smoothly with Dot in charge. What's your secret? asks Anna. It was easy, Dot explained. Timeouts, comparing, taking naps, and taking turns. I learned it all in my blueberry trip. Thank you for enjoying the story of Chelsea and Kalisa. Bye bye.